purpose of a radar is to detect and track uh, targets, uh, generally for a missile system that wants to shoot that target down. I'd say the primary mission for this aircraft is radar jamming. The EA-18G is a, a new aircraft. It's an electronic warfare aircraft built for the Navy. It's a variant of the FA-18 Super Hornet. We have added electronic warfare receivers and jammer systems to turn this into the premier electronic attack uh, aircraft. Being a strike fighter platform, it has a self-protect capability. We've automated a lot of things that we used to have to do manually. It has navigation capabilities for helping the air crew do the job that they do. So it's uh, a much better aircraft. You know, there's a, uh, a continuous cat and mouse game between technologies. The threat systems are constantly improving and so staying ahead of the other guys is very important. And this aircraft is, is a great advancement over what we were using before. I think one of the the great innovations of the Growler is taking existing systems that have been proven in other aircraft or the airframe itself and merging those together. People's lives depend on the performance of this aircraft and I'm very proud to be a part of the team. My name is Lieutenant Sabodi, call sign JWAL. I'm an E-18G Growler pilot, VAQ-140, stationed in Whidbey Island, Washington. To identify uh, the an E-18G Growler, it shares a airframe with the FA-18 Foxtrot Super Hornet. To distinguish between the two, you'll look at the wingtips and you'll see uh, a large, a larger diameter pod on the end of the wingtips. It's an ALQ-218 receiver pod. Our job is to deny the enemy the use of the electromagnetic spectrum. That boils down to is pretty much taking away the enemy's ability to target friendly forces. We do that kinetically with anti-radiation missiles to destroy enemy radar systems, and non-kinetically with ALQ-99 jamming pods, basically rendering the enemy's radars useless. Uh, so here at Tyndall, during checkered flag, we're able to participate with 5th gen aircraft, the F-35 and the F-22 Raptor. Being able to do this allows us to prepare for uh, what we call the high-end threat and uh, simulate an advanced adversary and practice our tactics against them.